So first of all, uh, the first enhancement that we have is uh, added functionality through for workforce planning using the benefits and taxes wizard. Uh, and what we see coming through this month in July is added functionality to uh, actually assign the compensation drivers based on entity using this benefits and taxes wizard. So within your, within your workforce planning configuration, when you're setting up benefits and taxes, uh, what you're now able to do is actually assign components being uh, additional earnings, benefits, and taxes, being able to assign that to specific entities. Uh, in the past, what you would have for your driver-based workforce planning would be uh, applying these drivers to, to an entity assumption member, and then this would be pushed out to all entities. Um, so, for example, something like a fringe benefit uh, would be the same across all entities. Um, now you're given the, the flexibility to, to, assign, uh, to assign this to different entities. So you may have, um, you may have sales folks with a different comp structure, structure than a salaried you know, accounting FTE, so that would be handled differently. So you'd be able to assign bonus structure or maybe taxes hit differently, be able to assign that at the period level for specific entities um, now with this release. Uh, how that's done is uh, you're able to assign within the wizard, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, down to the entity level, and then you have the option to also copy rates across entities as well. So if you want to assign, if you want to assign values um, to a single entity, you can then move that uh, out to others as well. So you can kind of take advantage of what what was already there to begin with. Uh, and then apply that across the board as well. <laughs>